All right, all right. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Hope everybody's still doing well. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about what does the Bible say about rape. And for those of you who don't know, JT dealt with that and put my life through hell and how it's a lot of innocent people, you know, in prison. You know, some are guilty, but some are innocent. And how people are pretty much getting their life taken away from them behind somebody lying about rape. And it's rape in the Bible. Let me tell you something once again. Everything we are going through in this life is in the Word of God. It's right there in the Word. Now, somebody might have overlooked it. But yes, so let's go on with this. And big shout out to my man, Rosar, who uh, just got out of prison not too long ago. Uh, you've been innocent for the last 15 years. I feel you, man. I tell you, I can relate to this, dealing with the law, dealing with the, the, the crooked judges, the system. It's all messed up, man. But to God be the glory, people are getting out and, you know, they finding out who actually committed these crimes. Yes, the Bible. Let me get off of that and go on into this video. The Bible condemns rape. And, and you can see it, especially in the, in the Old Testament. Matter of fact, if you go back to Israel, y'all notice we've been doing a lot of videos about Israel in the Old, you know, Old Testament. And in some of those passages, in the, you'll see where the laws was given to the nation of Israel before before they entered into the promised land. You remember when they was up under Joshua? And when you go to Deuteronomy, it show you how God spoke right right up against you know, forcing a woman to have sex with you. And if you did do this, men, you were killed. Oh, yes, you were killed. See, it was so much things went on back then. And I want to say that's around Deuteronomy chapter 22. But I come back and post those scriptures up. But remember the law. And any man who raped a woman got stoned to death. Now, we can see... How many people are being raped nowadays? This is one of those touchy subjects also because many of you might know somebody that has been raped or you might have been the one that been raped or you might know somebody that's innocent and you know might probably been spent all their life in prison. But back then, a man was stoned to death because the woman was innocent and that man would be killed. They would sit there and stone him. Just like the last video, we talked about committing adultery. That's why I say, what if some of these things will still happen right now? If you rape somebody, put you out there in front of everybody, and you be stoned to death. It's a whole lot of difficult passages in the Old Testament, and this is why a lot of people don't like talking about this stuff. Rape was a sin. In the eyes of God, raping somebody was a sin. Now, like I say, when you, when you, when you get into Israel, if you ever study, you'll feel me in all these videos, the Israelites were allowed, um, now somebody going to say, well, the Bible do. The, the Bible can, you know, it. well, let me say it like this. I don't want to sound confusing. Some might say that it was okay to rape back then in so many words because some people look at the Old Testament and they'll point out uh, certain things in the book of Numbers and they'll say like, well, the Israelites, they was allowed to take the females. Whenever they, you know, conquer somebody, another nation, Israel, could take their females, but that that's not all the way, you know, biblical about them taking them women and raping them because the Bible never told us that they was raped. And it didn't say that the Bible condoned that, you know. No, it, I mean, a lot of people take scriptures and take them out of context. That passage, and in, in, in I want to say that's numbers, it, was, it didn't say nothing about raping them women when they took them women. Now, like I said, I wasn't there. I don't know what all went on, but I'm not going to add nothing in the word of God that's not in there. Because it's wrong to assume that, you know, them women were being raped. But in Deuteronomy, it condemns rape. It condemns rape. Like I said, you will be stoned to death. When you go back to the book of Numbers, uh, them soldiers was commanded to purify themselves and they captives. And, and rape would have violated that command. That's why I was talking about Leviticus in the, in the other video. The women who were taken captive, they was never referred to as sexual objects. That's why I wouldn't say that, you know, it was okay for them to rape them because that's going up against the scripture in, in so many ways. So, yes, rape is all over in the Old Testament. Now, however, in the New Testament, you don't see a whole lot about rape mentioned in the New Testament. But but within the Jewish culture, you remember when you, when you hear the word sexual immorality. See, rape would have been considered as sexual immorality. 
it, when you look in the New Testament and, and in so many ways, because Jesus taught us about all this. The, I mean, Apostle Paul broke it down all the way. He spoke against sexual immorality. I don't know how much. And when you think about people that's being raped right now, it's, it's I mean, that's something that's rough to deal with. And it's sad that somebody would, you know, rather take something from somebody. Even, it's done been the women that's been killed behind rape. Some man done lost it. And, I mean, it's to the victims of rape out here looking at this video, I pray for you. That's why I say I dealt with, with getting in trouble behind rape years ago. And it put my life through hell because I was innocent. And to be innocent and know that you are innocent... And when everybody is up against you, it take a lot out of you. And that's why I'm standing here boldly in this video. I don't have no problem talking about nothing. I told y'all my testimony on it. If you ever want to go back and, and look about it, that, that was just one of my testimonies, man, how I deal with, you know, being charged with rape and how God deleted everything. And my, my, my record was white clean, and JT didn't have to pay a dime. It might have cost a lot of time, but I didn't have to pay a dime because while it was – Trying to, you know, get rid of me. God was clearing me. God was wiping my slate clean when I was innocent in the first place. But he just had to show me there is nothing too hard. Y'all making me get happy in this video. Let me get off of myself, but doing this video made me think about that. And then, then my heart goes out to people that are victims of rape. God's word speaks for itself. Like I say, there, I mean, it's all in the word of God. Like I said, if you need me to come back and give you those scriptures, I will. And to those who have committed rape, they must remember, people are responsible for the sins that they commit. They are responsible. No one is beyond the grace of God. No one is beyond the grace of God. Even the lives of those who have committed the most stupidest, wickedest, craziest sins. But God can't extend forgiveness to anyone who will repent. So that's the key word also. This is why I don't walk around putting people in hell. Because if they can repent, God forgive them. But they must repent and turn from them evil, wicked ways. Matter of fact, uh, I believe the book of John said, um, uh, it was saying something about the law. I lost my thought. But anyway, nevertheless, you know, to go on and end this video. I hope this helps out. And I'm going to probably do a part two and a part three behind this rape. Because I want to come in this video and put those, you know, those scriptures in there first. And uh, like I said, it's in Deuteronomy. Go around chapter 22. And this, this is what I'm talking about. Twenty. Just go to chapter 2 and read the whole 22 chapter, 22nd chapter, I believe. And read about when they tried to do that to a woman what actually would happen to them. If they would do that right now, every, but look at how many innocent people would be killed. See what I'm saying? It would be a lot of innocent men killed if they was just to not even give you a fair trial and just say he raped somebody. I'd have been dead a long time ago. See, this is why the word of God hit JT so hard because when you look at the Old Testament, when you think about sin, period, you better thank God for grace and mercy. And this is no reason to walk around here and to keep living a crazy lifestyle. Straighten up your life. Straighten up your life. And nine times out of ten, when a woman holler out rape on you, fellas, the judge not going to even really listen at you. Let me tell you something. When I was in that situation, the judge didn't even give me a chance to tell what I what, what had happened. He didn't even let me explain. And I had a white judge, and I don't have nothing against white people. But that guy didn't give me a chance at all to even say nothing. He told me what I need to do, and that was it. He closed the courtroom. And this is why I tell the young people all the time, try your best to stay out of trouble. It ain't all what it look like. Everything that glitters is not gold. And with that being said, peace and stay blessed.